Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Dave the Diver. We're in the morning of Dave 3, and we've got a little quest here to track the sea people. And because of Dr. Bacon, we can actually go deeper in the water. I'm just going to push start. Um, actually, no. Yes, start to bring up my phone. It's because of the eye diver. Now, we use the eye diver, and already Dr. Bacon upgraded our diving suit, but I upgraded the air tank and the cargo box with some money that we've made. So now we can carry more, have more air, and can go deeper. So that's phenomenal. We can't make anything at Duff's Weapon Shop because we don't have the blueprints, but we're going to start gathering them as we dive. I can check into storage, and in the storage, um, you can actually see what gun you have equipped and change your loadout. You can see all the stats on your knife, your harpoon gun, and your underwater rifle you can swap out. You can see the ingredients that you've kind of gathered down here uh, to purchase or sell when that becomes available to us. So let's go ahead and do a dive, shall we? Holding the X button to jump into the water. We're all ready. There's our good buddy, the Yellow Tang. Doesn't sell for a lot, but we've leveled it up significantly. So there's that. And splash. Let's go. You could see, bottom left, we've got a ton of oxygen. And now um, I can use the A button to shoot my harpoon like normal. But if I push the right bumper or the right R1, on the controller, I can switch over to the gun. It's the same kind of aiming mechanism, but I'm going to shoot an, uh, a gun instead of a harpoon. And you see I have eight bullets. Now, right over here, this chest with the gun on it that's glowing. This is a weapons crate. We're going to hold X to open it. And what did we get? So this is just a gun enhancement kit. So this just levels up your currently equipped gun. So you can see that if we get this, it's going to take our basic underwater rifle, make it level 2, and we go from 15 to 22 damage. The number in green on the tooltip to the right there. And that's amazing. So now, you know, our gun is just even stronger. So we can roughly guesstimate that it's going to do 22 damage per hit, providing the enemies don't have any mitigation. And as far as I can tell, I don't think they do. I think that's just going to indicate how much damage we do. So like this yellow fish, it's going to want to come at us. We just kill it in one shot. So bam, take that. He tried to mess with us. He messed with the wrong dude. And we got some soy sauce, which is new cooking ingredient. And now notice I'm way below 40. I can go much deeper, but not tremendously deep. So I do need to be mindful of my depth because I, I can't go below 80. But I can definitely explore here. There's a bunch of things I can gather. I can get this um, kelp. Nice thing about stuff like kelp uh, is that it just doesn't weigh very much. So we're going to crack off this. And this is lead ore, which is new. So you can see our depth is now yellow because we're going pretty deep. I'm going to pick this up. Now the ore is a little bit heavier. Oh, here's a big fish. So actually, I don't want to shoot it. I'm going to switch to my harpoon and see if we can get this guy in. We damaged him. Oh, there's some stuff here. There's glass. This is new. I'm going to hold X over this bone pile and we get a skull. So just some random stuff that I'm going to gather. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this guy in now. Nope, not yet. So this big dude, dude is uh, playing hard to get, quite literally, but that's okay. Because we can just kind of gather him in, hey, eventually. <laughs> now, um, if I want to, I can knife the guy a little bit to soften him. And then maybe we can start to gather him in. Nope, still not yet. This is a very stout fish. Come on now, buddy. I know where you live. All right. Let's just get one of these guys. Oh, that guy even was too stout. So as we go deeper, you can see that the fish play hardball. But another important thing to notice is that all of the fish are deeper, and we just need to upgrade. 300 coins will upgrade our harpoon. All right, there's some uh, pink seashell and some parts here. Our oxygen is getting lower, but we know we have a full oxygen tank over here. So I'm just going to keep messing with this guy. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'm going to just go down here and get this. All right, and we're at full O2.
It's still this guy. Okay, let's go down to this crate. This guy is a joker. And let's just get this. And oh, buddy, we got the strong Japanese sword. So this will upgrade our weapon. You can check it in here. You can pause it. This is going to do um, 10 damage or 32 damage with a charged attack. So I'm going to hit this. <laughs> I'm going to try to hit this. No, he's already pouring out blood. So hopefully this means that. No, it still doesn't. Can't catch him yet. Oh, wow. He took a, a full shot. So this guy has a lot of health. We got him, and he's the Dusky Grouper. Let's check him out um, in our fish right here. And you can see that he is rank three, two stars. We got three pieces of sushi. He weighs nine kilograms, which is a lot, but we can carry more, but not a ton. So we're already overburdened. Now that right there was the squid spraying ink. You can see it makes it harder for us to see, and that's fine. We're just gonna go up. I'm happy with a lot of the stuff that we've gathered but we haven't found any of the stuff for the quest remember you can push start and he says there's an artifact at 70 meters deep so we need to go a little bit deeper and potentially find this here's some glass right here and here's a crate let's just go get this yellow oh now you see that those bubbles that's a current so if we get hit by the current it will um, move us come on get it and oh boy <laughs> I'm going to have to use... I'm going to... I'm holding the trigger so I can get down here. And I'm going to try to pick up this scooter if I can. But you have to wait for the current to stop because it will just blow you right on by. Amazing. We got it. And I'm going to use this to get past the current. I'm just going to hang out down here. And we'll see if there's anything down here that we can get. There's full O2, which is amazing. Oh boy, okay, you see how we're taking damage from that wall right there? The current blew us into that spike wall. So we have to wait for the current to stop. And then use this. I'm going to get the O2. Well, I'm going to try to. I have to wait until the current stops. I don't want to go up because I don't want to get blasted. And now I'm going to just use this. Get ourselves O2. And I'm going to swim under with our jet. There's a gun crate here. I definitely want to pick this up. You want to find blueprints for your weapons. And, well, we got a, um, a flaming harpoon tip. So look at this. Now, our harpoon does five extra damage and does fire damage when it hits things. So that's really cool. And I'm going to wait for this to pass. Just wait for these bubbles to go by. And I'm going to swim straight up because I did see something right here. And it's a silver dish. So we can sell this eventually. Not right now, but soon. And I'm just going to wait for these currents to subside so I can kind of swim over here, try to get up past this, and even past this. This is more lead, but we don't have any weight. So I'm just going to kind of double back here and see if I can find the artifact for the sea people, if it's here, but I'm not seeing anything. And so I'm going to swim past this current section and just keep an eye on our O2 and our weight and just go back down to 70 meters and see if we can look there it is see the quest icon above it let's pick this up and get out of here this is tremendous if we can just gather that there it is dr bacon says oh dave i think that's the one come back to the boat i'll be waiting so it this will if you acquire this something happens and oh my goodness the giant eye of whatever life form that is, giant squid, it sees us. We soil our diving suit, and we wait. What was that? I have to go back to the boat right away. So if you pick this up, they want you to go back to the boat right away. Oh, this fish is coming. It's angry, but we just chopped it up. Um, with our melee weapon. We took some damage, but this is, look at this thing. It is a great barracuda. Unfortunately, we hardly get anything from it because we had to kill it uh, with the melee weapon instead of harpooning it, but that's okay. Now, what you can do, I'm going to pause it just to talk to you for a moment. You can see in the environment where there's going to be a ceiling of the cave and use that to plan your ascent. So like right there, it looks like there's a ceiling. So I'm going to get this O2 so I don't, um, run out of oxygen as I'm looking for a place to surface. Now, of course, you can find a, a lift somewhere. And the lift works, you know, the walkie-talkie symbol 
where you can radio in the, the escape pod, that will work even if there is a ceiling. Now, maybe I can actually get up here. I can. Oh, here's my buddy. Okay, I'm going to drop some stuff that I don't need at the moment so that I can try to get my buddy. So what would that be? What would it look like if I drop some things? I mean, this Great Barracuda is seven kilograms. Can I... Is there anything else that I have? No. Unfortunately, I want to catch that guy, but I'm going to just keep what I have because uh, I would have to drop a significant amount to get the parrotfish, and we'll get him on the second dive. Now, what we can get, though, before we leave uh, is this weapon chest because this doesn't do anything for our weight. We can just open this and try to find, here we go, um, a net gun. So I'm going to pick this up even though I don't want it because it says picking up new weapons will allow you to collect blueprints. When you reach a certain number of blueprints, you'll be able to craft the weapon and then you can start your dive with it. Duff says, to think you found the net gun, it's specialized for capturing live fish. So think about how good that is, live fish. That means that um, we can get the three-star rating on the fish and sell it for more money. We could use the escape pod right here if we want. Um, but I'm going to actually go get this yellow crate just for fun. I can't get the cooking stuff because my weight is too great. But I can get this and just see what if we find anything cool. Oh, we just found an O2 can. That's fine. I think we'll just take the escape pod and leave. Let's go. Tremendous. Okay. Depressurization complete. Beautiful. And Dr. Bacon's pulling up. All right, you brought it out safely, he says. He is so excited. It seems to be in very good condition, almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Hmm, very interesting. This may be the find of the century, even. All right, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the sea people's civilization. What? I thought I'd only be helping you once. And then Cobra steps in with his capitalistic fervor. Wahaha, of course, say no more. We just put our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. Dot, dot, dot. That won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. All right. So we completed the quest, and we got 300 gold, olive oil, and turmeric. So we did that quest. It's done. And we got one of the three blueprints that we need to be able to craft the small net gun in the future. And you can see our results here. We were under for quite some time. We did our deepest dive obtained a bunch of items and look at these fish that we got that we send to the tank and we got some ingredients boncho is pleased dave while you were out at sea the repairs were completed so now you can see even from here that the sushi shop is fixed up let's head to the restaurant so he wants to take us to the restaurant chapter one traces of the sea people because we're learning something new about the game wow it's looking very nice you can see it's brand new looks great Aha, it doesn't matter how delicious the food is. The restaurant can't be a mess. I love how this completely contradicts what he said earlier. If you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open. So please check it. So you can change the interior of Bancho Sushi. And this is mostly cosmetic, but it's cool because you get to just make your restaurant look how you want. Use the interior tab to select a style to your liking. Ah, but... As Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, but this area is kind of remote, so I think I'll need a way to advertise the store until then. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Ah, have you tried the social media app name Cooksta? So, we're going to start using another app called Cooksta, which is basically people taking pictures of their food and posting it and giving it likes you mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Hmm, even so, isn't it better t to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Boncho? You have a point there. 
Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. You first register and make the hashtag Boncho Sushi, then done. Hmm, well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now customers happy with your food will follow Bancho, uh, Boncho Sushi. Hmm, I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. I'll also install the Cooksta app on my phone and check the followers' posts. Perfect. So now, we all have accounts. We can all post stuff, and if people come and are happy, they will uh, potentially follow and like us and expand our reach. More customers will visit, and new foods will be unlocked if you raise your rating in Cooksta. The unlocked conditions of new ratings can be seen within the app. So, um, here's a bunch of new things we can do. I can just push start to go to my phone. And we can look at the Cooksta app. And you could see right here, this is the timeline. This is Cobra's post. And you could push A to thumbs up and like the post. And it says Bancho Sushi Bar Grand Opening. You've never tasted sushi like this before. Reasonable prices and great service. Open only in the evenings. And you can, this is... <laughs> Uh, this is Boncho taking his profile picture, <laughs> and you give it a like, and that's all we've got so far. But it says if we get 10 followers, we go to the bronze rank, and I'm just using the right and left bumpers, uh, or R1 and L1, to move through the tabs on the top of the Cooksta app. And you can push A to check the rewards, and we'll get new things, new sushi that we can make. Plus, um, we'll get a new menu slot, meaning we can serve five different kinds of sushi. We'll get staff, which we'll talk, uh, talk about when it unlocks, and we'll get more wasabi to use. So this is just a huge win for us, something we need to obviously upgrade. Now let's go here, and we can go to the interior tab, and we can change um, like the table to you know light wood if we want, and then we can go over to the chairs. Now if we want to change this kind of stuff, it actually costs money, and as far as I know so far, this is purely cosmetic, so it's not like Traveler's Rest where this stuff will boost people's experience. Um, this is free to post, by the way, so I'll put up the photograph. I think it's just a place for you to spend money and customize how it looks, but it doesn't do anything. That being said, uh, if I find out that it potentially improves people's experience at the restaurant, they leave more likes, they follow more fast, uh, quickly, please let me know, but I think it's just cosmetic, so I'm not going to buy anything because I want to upgrade iDiver and stuff instead of this. I'm just going to cancel. Um, oh wait, no, no, you need to then, after you select this, um, you want to click, oh, Lightwood costs money. Um, never mind. Uh, I'll do Oriental Modern. I'm not spending any money. Uh, so that's good, and I'm going to apply with the X button. And you just say, yep, and then there we go. We've changed the look of our restaurant. Now at this point, uh, you can talk to people if you want. I'm not gonna set the menu or anything because I have another opportunity to dive. It's the afternoon. It takes no time to move from here to the boat. You can see we're on the afternoon slot in the upper right. I'm just gonna go over here and go to the boat. And now that we're at the boat, we can dive. But before we dive, we want to go in here, and uh, I want to go to iDiver, and let, let's see what we can upgrade. So we have 400. I'm actually, oof, it's so tempting to upgrade the cargo box and the air tank instead of the harpoon gun. Yeah, the harpoon gun is great to upgrade, but it's more like a convenience, you know, uh, because it, it just will save you time harpooning, because you're almost getting like 3.1 shots in, for each one. So it's fantastic, but instead, what I'd rather do is uh, I'm going to boost my cargo box. And I'm going to boost um, my diving suit and save the rest of the money. Air tank, harpoon gun, yes, I want that, but now I can go really deep. Uh, I can carry more back, so that's making us more money. And the oxygen, at, at least unless you're getting hit a lot... You usually can find a lot of this down there. All right, and Cobra's here, and he says, By the way, Dave, have you been making good use of your gun? Yes, but I get less meat if I kill with a gun. That's often the case with smaller fish, but with stronger, bigger fish, it'll be easier to weaken them a bit first. If they're weakened, they'll show changes like bleeding or swaying. Observe them carefully. I see, I'll have to consider the timing carefully. If you need good guns, you can craft them at Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Don't forget it. So this is a great tip that he's giving you about softening up fish that you're not going to kill in one shot with your gun like we've seen so far. All right, so let's dive back in, shall we? 
Ding, ding, ding. Yes, that darn Titan trigger fish. He's large, he's in charge, he's angry. But once we get a gun... Oh, look what this is. It's a beautiful, friendly dolphin. What are you doing here, buddy? Huh? A dolphin? It seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? Mission updated. A dolphin's request. So when you're following this dolphin, I find that you need to basically use your um, L2 accelerant the entire time to keep up with it because it's like super fast. You don't have to follow it for long, so you can definitely do this. But I, there's oxygen right back there too. And there's a gun case, but we've got to go to where it's leading us. We don't want to lose it. And here we go. Pinky is in a net. A pink dolphin has been caught in a net. So it was asking me to rescue its friend. I should cut the net. So all you have to do is go over here, and once you get close enough, you just hold the X button down and fill up that wheel, and bam. You've done it. You've rescued the pink dolphin. The dolphins are dancing. They are happy. Pleasant dolphin noises reverberating. And there we go. Hmm, it seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. So we completed the request, and look what we find right here. It's a pearl, and it says it's probably worth a lot of money. Whenever you get anything that you find down here that says it's worth a lot of money, it's just something that you can sell once that becomes available. Let's get the gun, and oh, the triple axle. I love this one. This wild horse can finish enemies with just three bullets at close range, so you can hit three times with it. It has less bullets, though. It's only got five bullets. But you can find more ammo down here to re reload. And do we want the sleepy toy hammer? We can try it until we find something that's ostensibly better. I'm probably going to go over here and just try to get the oxygen. Here's another weapon crate. What do we find? And, well, it's a shock harpoon tip. So the nice thing about the shock harpoon tip is you can look at it here. It does more damage, and it has a 65 chance chance to paralyze for 10 seconds if it's paralyzed i believe you can pick it up i'm not entirely sure but it slows it down and uh helps you just fight it easier all right we're gonna go ahead and just load up and let's see what we can find well yeah there's fragments and there's an angry guy up there i'm not gonna mess with him i'm gonna go i'll chop this that's fine and I'm going to see if I can get some parrot fish. Here we go. What's in this chest? And it is a shock bang stick. So this actually does more damage and can shock. We can try this out to see if it will help us uh, catch things. Oh, here's my buddy. Let's get this weapon crate, though. See if we can get some blueprints. And it is a, a worse harpoon tip. So, meh is all we have to say about that. And this guy's coming close, so let's just club him. And no. Okay, so we got him, but he hit us. And what that means is, um, I'm gonna use my gun. I'm gonna, well, that's not my gun. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot this guy a lot, and then give him the old shock harpoon, and he should be almost ready to catch. Now this guy's coming. Ouch, he still hit us, what a jerk. And we got him with two stars, the Titan trigger fish. Now, honestly, um, you can see how much this fish is bleeding. That indicates that it's getting really weak. And, oh, okay. So that mini game is when you use the electric harpoon, it usually has you do the shake the left stick back and forth, left and right. And that one's actually easier for me than jamming the button, like rapid pressing the A button. I'm going to reload our gun right there. Uh, this guy wants to puff up and be annoying, but you can actually... And we got some black vinegar. That's the new fish. You can actually hit this guy from far away. Well, not that way. I can't, anyway. There we go. I, w I was just on the very edge of catching him. 
just going to kind of fire at some of these fish. Pick them up. And if you get far enough away from the puffer fish, like for it to lower its defenses, oh, sometimes the, uh, the harpoon aim is surprising. You can actually catch this fish. Now, I'm doing it just to catch as many as I can. Uh, because there is... You see, we got two things there from catching that guy. There is a benefit for gotta catch them all. We don't have it yet, but you do want to try to catch as many different types of fish as you can. And just l l load up your recipe book, see what's out there. Now, I'm going deep, and the oxygen is bad. I'm really hoping to find either an oxygen canister or something else. We know there's an escape pod near, though. And, uh, yeah, I'll take that sword. That's better than mine. And here we go. Right on cue, full O2. So, honestly, like, if you just keep your eyes open, a lot of the time, the game will give you what you need. But you have to be exploring. Now, this is a big boy, hostile fish. Oh, boy. Okay. We didn't do a good job right there of dodging him, but guess what? This guy is not going to be happy. He's running away at this point. I was trying to do the charge attack because it does way more damage. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Oh, we did. We caught him with two stars. And because we upgraded our backpack, we're only weighed down, but we can still pick this up. So we have so many fish right now that it's just unbelievably awesome. I'm going to head up and just see if we can get anything else down here. Let's look at the quest. We don't have any quests to do. We did dolphin quest. We got lots of fish. We're not at full weight. We're getting there. And uh, that's just the shock harpoon thing. We get some agar if we wanted to. This is a quick escape right here. So we could kind of just sit around this and see if there's any fish that we want to catch. Oh, here's a whip and crate. Did I miss this before? Apparently. Let's just see if there's any blueprints inside. And go ahead, charge up. And this is a enhanced harpoon tip. It just does more damage, but it doesn't have the shock effect. And that guy um, doesn't really care that we bapped it. Let's just keep shooting this jellyfish, see if anything good will happen. And we got him. And um, we killed him, unfortunately. He was not, like, catchable. So maybe jellyfish are harder to mess with. So he's only one star, which is just sad. Anything else we want to catch around here? Yeah, we can get one of these guys. We're getting a lot of the red tooth trigger fish here. Let's just see if we can get this last one. Oh boy, that was a bad aim. But they gave us another chance, and we got it. And I'm just going to kind of work my way back down for this guy. I don't think I can actually get him unless he bounces back. He did. Oh. There it is. And we got everything. We can't catch any more. Let's get out of here. Oxygen's running out, but we did an amazing job right there. We got a lot of fish, a lot of things. So we should be able to make a bunch of money. We can go really deep. And we got one of the two recipes we need for the triple axle. Uh, you know, none of this was actually our best overall in terms of numbers, but it's going to work out for us. Look at all that fish. Boncho is pleased. It's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Boncho's working alone. I should probably help. It's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. Not enough workers. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. So very soon, we'll handle this. Let's go back to the sushi. All right, here we go. Oh, it's this lady. Got the red bifocals, clipboard. Looks around, her name is Yoshi. This is Bancho's sushi place, huh? Hmm. Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cooksta. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. 
new food using never-before-seen ingredients, can't taste this anywhere else, a taciturn but masculine chef. Wow, did they mention me too? No, not really. Tisk. In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what you got you booted from the hotel. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. How long will you continue treating customers that way? To keep making that terrible food? What do you mean terrible? Whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East, and in Korea it was even used in ancestral rituals. Stop! You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself, then, whether it's food fit for consumption. Then I could tell you why I came. Fine, I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. Bancho, isn't this development a bit of sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills it should be easy enough to do it. But a harpoon's not likely going to be enough. Take a good gun with you into the battle. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say that you'll just stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean, far to the right, and what they mean is, when we dive, we're going to swim all the way to the right at the edge of the map and go down to find this shark. Good luck. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head? This is preposterous, and it can only be killed with a gun. I'll have to, a have to ask Duff to make me a gun or search for one in the blue hole. All right. So now we got a new mission, and we got a special customer. Sometimes special customers with a backstory will hear of the sushi bar and visit, learn dishes that the customers want through research, and serve them to the customers. All right, so now we can research. You can now research new recipes using the Artisan's Flame to expand your menu, so we can level up using Bancho's success to make new stuff. He has brainstorms. So before we open, we got to set the menu. Now, she's going to order the white tip reefed shark head because Bancho was supposed to make it for her. Don't worry that you can't sell it to her. It doesn't matter. She'll just keep coming back forever, basically, until we can give it to her. So just take your time and get it, and then we can go. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to actually push R1 and go to research. Uh, and we need to research the whole roasted shark head. And we use three of the ten artisan's flame that we have to do this. And here's Bancho with Divine Inspiration. <laughs> One drop of soy sauce. Bam! We know how to make it. Okay, so we need to get new food ingredients to get more inspiration. And let's go to the menu. So we're going to add some stuff. And we can upgrade a lot of what we have here. So let's see, first of all, you know, what can we sell that's worth money all right well we've got the green humphead parrotfish sushi but the thing is we can't actually level this up anymore because we need 15 of it to even raise it further but we're going to put it on the menu and i'm going to put all of it on the menu i haven't decided yet if it's worthwhile to actually serve less of it so you can save some like you don't want to waste it you know i don't know if 10 people are going to come in and order this let's just experiment let's put like five of this on the menu no seven and then let's see what else is valuable let's the great barracuda we can level this up i will do it oh my Wow. The whole restaurant is under siege by his culinary greatness. The sushi was no match for Bancho. We've leveled it up. 
All right, so we're definitely going to put this on the menu. We only have one, but it's leveled up. And then what else can we put on there? Uh, let's level this up. Good. And put it on the menu. And we don't have a lot, right? We only have like a little bit here. But let's see what else is valuable that we can put out there. 20, 22 for this dusky grouper. If we level this up, we won't have any to serve. Which seems bad. Uh, and some of the stuff we can't make because we just don't have enough. I'll go ahead and uh, put all of this at level 1. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to uh, enhance this. It's going to consume everything, so we won't be able to serve it. But we, in the future, it'll just be... It's a, it's a long play. Let's go enhance this. And we can enhance it again. And enhance it again and then now it sells for 17 and we have two of it perfect i'm going to serve some more of this i'm going to go ahead and uh i'm going to auto supply the ingredients for that i think i oh, know i'm just going to add ingredients i'm going to turn off auto supply and then there we go and now we have our menu i'll close it up let's open this up and let's run over here by Boncho. So you can see above Yoshi's head, she's got the shark thing. She wants that. We don't have to worry about that. At first, I was all stressed. Like, uh-oh, what am I going to do? But, nah. There's nothing you can't do. Try to get that cooksta rating up. Oh boy. I got tired. Got a little tip there. Sweet. We're getting, you can see on the left of the screen the reviews people are leaving as they enjoy their meal. Oh, she left some trash. A little tip. So we're gaining followers. You can see in the upper portion of the HUD where it says Bancho Sushi, we've got four out of ten followers. We need to get ten to get that bronze review. We're working on it. We got 207 money already. Sweet. Take this in here. Everyone loves it. And we're done. Close for the day. So we didn't get the bronze, but we had a very successful day. We got six followers, and we made 187, and we got five artisans flame. Pretty good. I used a lot of my fish leveling it up, so it wasn't like the most profitable day possible, but it was quite strong. And Dr. Bacon's back. Hey Dave, I've got the luckiest news. What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look happy. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of an unknown substance was detected. I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. Oh, and why is that news, Lucky? Haha, -ha, being coy today, are we? This radar is bound to come in useful on your next expedition. What do you mean my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. Hmm, I was given a contract with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20. What? What in the world are you two talking about? Ha ha, don't be so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. Sigh, give it to me. I'll tell you if it works and no more. All right, so now we have another quest to do for Dr. Bacon. Signal from the sea people. All right. So if I push this and we can check out, uh, we have some new stuff to look at on Cooksta, and we've got two quests. So let's go to Cooksta, and Glenn reviewed our food, so did CCJY and, uh, and Silas, Rose Pink, Coder, Sven Viking, Dr. Bacon even came by, and so did Ellie. So we can give up a bunk bunch of likes to everything just to help 
with the page. And we can go even uh, to the weapon shop. You can see how close we are on some of these weapons. And we can afford a new oxygen tank, which I will buy. This just gives us more O2. Uh, totally worth it. Now we can stay under a little bit longer. And we're rocking. So this is a good place to end this episode of the Complete Beginner's Guide. We need to dive in, get the shark, and find the signal location. Continue making money and leveling up our operation to make Pancho Sushi a legendary restaurant. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.